What if a tiny chip could change the world forever? In 1968, Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore founded Intel. Just $2 million, eight employees, sounds modest. Their mission was insane to fit an entire computer onto a tiny piece of silicon. Noyce was convinced computers had to be everywhere. At the time, this was pure science fiction. They were locked in a lab where the only smell was chemicals, and the only sound was the crackle of oscilloscopes. They weren't just dreaming, they were fighting. Every day was a battle against giants like Texas Instruments. Their first client, a Japanese calculator maker named Bizicom, assigned an impossible task, 40 chips for a single calculator. And that's when Noyce said, stop. Instead of 40 chips, why not build one universal brain? That's how the Intel 4004 was born the world's first microprocessor. It was a calculator chip that changed the entire world. But the real breakthrough was ahead. By the 80s, Intel created the x86 architecture. Fact, IBM chose their processor for its first personal computer. This instantly catapulted Intel to global leadership. That's also when Moore's law emerged, chip power doubling every year. This wasn't just an observation. It was a prophecy that Intel forced into reality. They weren't just making chips. They were dictating the speed of technological progress across the planet. Today, Intel isn't just your laptop. It's data centers, artificial intelligence, and billions of dollars deciding how fast our future moves. Intel's story proves that world-changing ideas are always born in a small circle of visionaries. Vision, precision, perfect timing. Subscribe to Chapters and Capitals to learn how a tiny startup can run the world.